So the first one we're going to take a look at is the new collection from 49 and Market. It is called Moonlit Garden. Moonlit Garden. So, um, oh my goodness, so many pieces. Uh, with this collection, as I do um, with the 49 and Market collections, you will see a lot of the pieces kind of individual or a la carte. And then you will see the big bundle. So the big bundle will have everything in it, more than what I show you. Then we'll take a look at the big bundle. And when you buy the big bundle, um, I mark it down 15% off because you're buying the whole thing. All right, let's start with these guys, the wishing bubbles. So the wishing bubbles, this is 49 and Market's version of enamel dots. And they are not shy about how many enamel dots they put on there, right? They're wishing bubbles. There are uh, 153 on there. And the price point is very comparable to other companies' enamel dots that are about maybe a quarter of the size of the sheet. So you get a lot, there's a very good value in this. You get a lot for your dollar. Um, lots of little tiny ones up top, then medium ones, and then you have large ones with um, little icons behind them, large ones with words, and then hearts, and then even tiny hearts. So tons and tons and tons on those amazing little um, bits and bubbles, or wishing bubbles, wishing bubbles and bobbles. Um, let's see, Scrap and H said, I'm using my big bundle from Art Options right now, perfect for gratitude journal. Uh, Scrap and H, is it the um, autumn, oh my gosh, autumn spool? Autumn Splendor, is that, I can't even believe that I've forgotten what that one is called already. Um, their fall-ish one, is that the one you're talking about? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, Mary Lee said, so cute, the worded ones look like typewriters. Um, they do, right? Those kind of look, look like little typewriter keys. Yeah, they're very fun. And there's just so many different things that you can do with those guys, so um, especially with that many in there. All right, the chipboard word set. So we'll take a kind of a look at the back first. Chipboard words, there are 54 in this package. Um, these are um, non-adhesive, meaning that you need to add your adhesive behind these. And that's okay, because I always say, even if you have self-adhesive chipboard, it's a lie. It is a farce. I mean, really, it has sticky on it, but it really doesn't work. So you always, 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 with your chipboard, no matter what kind of chipboard it is, no matter who makes it, you always want to add your extra little adhesive behind it. So we really don't mind that there's no adhesive on this one because we need to add extra anyway. So beautiful font. That is going to start to give you a, um, a feel for the color palette. You have that light blue, you have black, you have this kind of tan color, and you have this um, green color. So it'll give you a good feel for the color palette right there. Lots of script words in there. And then you also have the solid word strips like that. So very fun. Uh, lots of great titles for your um, layouts or your cards or your tags, your mini books. Um, these are thin enough. They are very thin um, as far as chipboard goes. So you could even use these in your um, in your traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna say these are maybe an eighth, may, actually more like 1 16th. They're pretty, they're pretty thin. So they're probably closer to 1 16th, definitely not an eighth. All right, let's get these little guys just put back in the bag and then we'll move on to the chipboard bits. So what's fun about this collection, um, especially this time of year? This time of year, we're, um, we're still seeing a lot of Christmas right? And we like Christmas. We love the holidays. We have lots of things to craft for the holidays. Um, but sometimes we need just the regular stuff, the regular old. We don't need to be Halloween. We don't need it to be fall. We don't need it to be Christmas. We just want our good old regular non-themed product. And that's what Moonlit Garden is. All right. So these are the chipboard bits. Moonlit Garden chipboard bits. Uh, this one has 57 pieces in it. Look at that, isn't that so sweet? Little bird on the leaves, frames, flowers. Oh, love that one, those kind of daisies. Frames and flowers, um, titles, butterflies, birds. Lots and lots and lots of different pieces there. Your circles, some of your circles have titles on them or phrases, some of them are just plain. Little banner titles like that, be still and listen the best of times. I'm sure Nick would like it if I would be still and listen sometimes, right? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, that one is so fun. I love that kind of old, um, old like packaging artwork or advertising artwork. And I'm always a sucker for butterflies, so those are just stunning. Um, Katie Pertit, who um, does most of the design work for um, for 49 to market, has a beautiful eye for color and um, pattern and design. Uh, I was just watching this afternoon. Um, the woman who owns 49 to market, Janine Meyer 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 House Meyer House Meyer House, close to that. Anyhow. Um, Janine was just talking about how she started the company, I think back in 2011. Um, well, she started, that was kind of when she started doing um, crafting things. She had a, had a website and anyhow, um, it's quite interesting. So if you wanted to go learn more about 49 and Market and how she started the company, it was quite interesting. Um, but anyhow, I knew her way back in the day, like so long ago. Um, I don't know, I've been doing stuff with um, 49 and Market products for probably about the last four years. And when I reached out to them because I wanted to open up a wholesale account, um, she and I were chatting and we figured out that we had known each other back, back in the day. Like, um, I think we were both doing work for creating Keepsakes Magazine or something like that, but it was kind of fun uh, reminiscing about that. All right, next up we have the ephemera bits. 114 die cut shapes in the ephemera bits. Now, I just have to point this out. If you have not um, purchased or used any um, 49 Market products yet, this is the package of ephemera bits. This package is six and a half by eight and a half. That is a giant package of ephemera. And the price point is not reflective of a giant package of ephemera, if you know what I'm saying. Um, very, very reasonable. This one, look at this one. Like, look at those little old fashioned drawers. So cute. And out of there, I pulled frames. So they're very smart about um, usage of their space, right? So look at that. You have the frame, but might as well use the inside of the frame for something. You have that beautiful um, set of drawers scale so lots of different sizes so you can scale things right when we're layering we like to have different size pieces some nice frames um, look at these guys i mean look at the size of those so again for layering oh my goodness look at all those littles all of those little tiny guys so um, i won't kind of pull all those apart but the labels the word strips um the i always love it when they do these the, um, um, yeah, you know what I mean? We can all picture the little machine in our head that you put that in and the little toy, it's on a machine. You know what I mean by that? Uh, I can't remember. Someone will help me remember the word for those two things. Viewfinder, thank you, Ms. L. Yes, the viewfinder. I loved playing with those as a kid. They were so fun, but look at it. I love all the tickets. Anyhow, um, I'm so, always so impressed with the scale. Um, where they go teeny tiny all the way up to really large. And I want to see if you guys can hear this. Can you hear that? That is nice, heavy-duty cardstock. That is thicker than like, that's probably the weight of their 12 by 12 paper or their 6 by 8 paper um, because the, their paper is quite a bit thicker than most other manufacturers. And that's just kind of something that 49 and Market is known for. So those are the ephemera bits. I'm just making a little stack down here on the floor. Okay, next up, we have the Essential File Set. So these are um, really fun. Uh, Melanie, hello, Melanie Vando, said very generous package. Yes, absolutely. They're very generous um, in terms of, of what they're putting in their package for the price. So these are die cut file sets, first of all. Um, their packaging is always stunning. Their packaging, every single package that I've opened up, always have some kind, always has some kind of artwork on it. So I like to use the artwork from the packaging in my projects as well because it's beautiful. So the file set. So this is there's a combination of little pockets. So these little pieces have been scored. But look at that. This would be so fun to put a little journaling card or a little list in. So we just, um, as they've been scored, you put your adhesive on those pieces, adhere that down and put your pieces in. So there are a number of different little pockets like that. 
Then you have the file folders. So these are really cool. Could become a lot of fun with those file folders. Beautiful pattern on the inside. And then this guy. Um, these are two side pockets. So these, as you do this, these would be great in like a six by eight uh, mini book, or you could use one of these in a layout as well. But on a six by eight mini book, now you have this kind of side slash pocket that you can put things in. And then you also have this little pocket, this forward facing pocket as well. And you have two of those. One is a right facing and one is a left facing. And then, oh my gosh, it keeps going. No, we already looked at those. Okay, um, this guy. So look at this pocket. Again, this would be great for uh, one of your like six by eight uh, mini books, but this super sturdy has the base already to it. There is a little half pocket and there's another little half pocket. So that is a really fun set. That one is the essential file set. Then we have the garden, uh, no, it's already garden, uh, the film strip frames, film strip frames. So um, we've been seeing these come out in all of their collections. The film strip frames, there are 30 in there. Again, look at the packaging. Like, look how awesome that is, that packaging that you can use on any project. Different sizes different shapes, different colors. So it looks like in this pack, you kind of have that oyster color. So you have the outside frames, and then you have the inside film strips. But as I take that off, there's an outside frame. Then there's another outside frame. They're really smart about the way they do things. So outside frame, outside frame, and then I have my little double inside frame here. So just really fun to have, especially like with little smaller photos be a lot of fun. Okay, so there we go. You have all of those pieces. So you have the oyster versions of those. You have that kind of really pretty dusty blue and then kind of that tan. Then you have the single film strips as well. Lots and lots and lots of different. This would be probably your most traditional size film strip that you would be used to seeing. And then you also have solid versions of that as well. All right, those are the film strip frames. Okay, next up we're gonna move into the laser cut elements. These are always, I'm always like so enamored by these. So there are two different versions with Moonlit Garden. The, laser, the regular laser cut elements, and then you have the wildflower laser cut elements. So with these, they are um, six by 13, and you have four six by 13 sheets, 12 and a half. Uh, four six by 12 and a half sheets, these are laser cut. So the difference between a laser cut and a die cut is like all the difference in the world. So let me find one of these. Let me grab, let's see if I can grab this little guy out. So that is the die cut. Do you see that? Do you see how, excuse me, the laser cut. Do you see how intricately cut that little flower is? Or these, are these like little blue bonnets maybe? Blue bells, blue bonnets? Let me pull this one out. So you cannot get anywhere near this type of detail in a die cut. If this was a die cut, it would be one solid piece and there'd be white everywhere you see the skin of my hand. So that is the beauty of a laser cut. I mean, goodness, look at that. That is about as close to a real looking flower as you're going to get in a paper, in a paper piece, right? So that little guy almost looks like a pressed flower. It's amazing. So those are the, um, Wildflower laser cuts. You also have the, oh, got to be careful with those. So if you have those and you're pulling them out of the little sheet, pulling them away, be super, super gentle because they are very, very, very um, delicate. Super delicate. All right, then you have the regular laser cut elements. Um, the regular laser cut elements, a lot of times we'll see some of the similar types of designs from uh, collection to collection, and this would be one of those. I love, 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 love. This is probably the favorite that I see every time in the kind of regular everyday laser cut elements. That laser cut um, trim, isn't that awesome? That really, really, really looks like an old cotton trim that has been dyed um, 
that color, right? Oh, Reggie, what's the problem, dude? He's out there meowing. He doesn't like um, he doesn't like me to not look at that one. He wants to be in, but if he's in, he'll jump right up on this table and make a giant mess. He'd get all of his little claws stuck in those laser elements. And then I would not be happy. Anyhow, so there are four six by uh, 12 and a half sheets of those laser cut elements as well. And any of those things you guys can see on the website at laobymail.com uh, under, like if you pull up that product, you'll see all of that. Obviously, you won't be able to quite see as much as the detail, but uh, Melanie said they do look real through the camera. So imagine, they look real through the camera. Imagine what they look like in person. They're pretty spectacular. Um, Debbie said laser cuts, why she started buying 49 and market when they first come out. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. They are pretty impressive. Marilee, I think you're in good company. Marilee said, oh man, remember negatives? We had to take them to a photo mat to get duplicates. Showing my age. Good company, my friend. Same, same. All right, so now let's take a look at the rub-ons. So there are one package of six by eight rub-ons and three packages of 12 by 12. So six by eight rub-ons, you have six six by eight sheets. Beautiful titles. I always love the little paint splatters. Butterflies and greenery. Oh, I love those paint splatters, right? Lots of good uh, color in there. I don't know about you guys. I am such a, um, I am very much a novice when it comes to trying to do paint splatters. So if I can have somebody that did the paint splatters for me and then especially look like I was really cool and knew what I was doing because I stamped and then paint splattered all in a rub on. Yeah, love it. A little bit more now color brought into our florals and our butterflies. Oh, butterflies. That's a very good representation of the color palette there. I love that. Uh, and then some true greenery like the leaves. So six, six by eight sheets. And then your little, I always call this, this is like the lick -a made stick. That reminds me of a lick -a made stick. Uh, and that is what you use to uh, put the rub-ons on, okay? So those are the, that is the, not R, that is the six by eight rub-on set. Six, six by eights. And then we have three 12 by 12. So if you really liked the um, kind of the color wash look, the um, kind of paint, paint splatters, although now these aren't paint splatters, these are really color wash. Um, that is one large 12 by 12 sheet with one, two, three, four, five, six. So your larger projects, these are awesome for. Those are the color wash. And then we have um, the, just kind of general, I guess. This one is just the garden. Oh, garden. No, it's Moonlit Garden. This is the general rub-on transfers. These are the sentiments, the other one color wash. So this is kind of the everyday general, although not everyday at all. Look at that. I love that little color palette swatch right there. Beautiful florals and your birds and your butterflies. But the scale of those, that's what makes those a little bit different than what you see in the six by eight, the scale, they're so much larger. And then these beauties, uh, these are the sentiments. So if we look at the backside, look at all those. Again, super awesome figure titles, but what a really fun font and a combination of fonts. I love it when you see fonts um, or combinations of font where you have a type, um, then kind of a, a more basic serif font, then with a little bit more of a script. So live for today, good life, enjoy life, best ever, oh, happy day, super generic. So works on lots and lots and lots of different, um, lots and lots of different projects. All right, so... That's all the a la carte product. Oh no, it's not. Oh my goodness, Lael. I almost totally forgot some of my favorite things. Uh, let me, well, don't mind this. You guys know, this is just my stamping and swatching and testing notebook. So let's move into the washi. So first off, let's start with these. These are the postage stamp washi, or this is the postage stamp, not these. Postage stamp washi tape. I always love, 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 love so much the postage stamp washi because it's always very cool. It is perforated, so like a postage stamp. If you want to use it perforated, you can, or you can just leave it in one long strip. Well, not the whole length, but you know what I mean. So let's see, let me get a little bit of a strip going here. And I'll put this down and then I'll bring it back up to the camera to show you. 
So look at that. Look how beautiful that's going to be. The colors, I just love that color palette. Uh, there we go. I'll just rip that off right there. So that's, I'm keeping it as one strip, but then I can also use it in just one single postage stamp-like piece. It's perforated, so it's really easy just to tear those off. You are on my mind every day. Oh, very sweet. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that is the postage stamp washi for Moonlight Garden. Then let's take a look at the washi assortment. So washi assortment, there are three rolls here. With the three rolls, you have a small, medium, and large, like baby bear, mama bear, and papa bear. So the small, do that with. I'll bring them up to the camera in a sec. There's the small, the medium. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the butterflies. I'm gonna make this one go vertical just so you can see how the, the different. Oh my gosh, they're so vibrant. That is stunning. Okay, you can tell I haven't seen these before. Well, I don't know, maybe you can tell. Um, but I haven't seen them before. You know, like really rolled out. And then this, look at this. Look how awesome that is, that really thick. So that guy would be great um, pulled out on, as a base of a card or a tag. You could even use it on a layout. But if it was too big, if you're like, oh my gosh, it's way too wide, Lael, what would I possibly use that for? I would say, hey, I have a thought for you. I would say grab your little turnaround and you can make it as wide as you need or as narrow as you need. You can't make it wider, but you can make it narrower. So let's say, hey, I'd really like this to be a half inch instead of, how wide is that? That is about one and three quarters. So let's say, I'd really like this to be a half inch. And so all I'm gonna do is line that up there, my little trimmer, and do that. And now I have a half inch piece like that for whatever I need. And then I have a a little bit less wide piece than what I pulled off the roll. So that's kind of fun. Um, super easy to do that with your trimmer. And literally you saw how quickly that just um, trimmed that. So super easy. All right, last up, before we look at the big bundle, because there's a couple more things in the big bundle I need to show you. That's the washi tape assortment. Then we have, these are always so much fun. These are the washi tape stickers. So these are stickers on a roll, but they are washi tape. Um, so as I unwind this, I'll show you the way that I like to do it, not the right or the wrong way, it's just the way I like to do it. Um, let me get enough of this going here so you can see. I'm trying not to chip one of my nails while I do this too, right? Now I've pulled up a little too much where it's just like holding itself. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to unroll a bit of that. We'll stop it right here. Oh, I need to cut it there. I won't tear it because it's that plastic sheet. Okay, so here is the part of the roll. And if I pull off, got something stuck to my hand there. If I pull away this kind of opaque part, then I have the fun little stickers, and they're washi stickers. But look at that. I have all of those little stickers now that I can use on any of my projects. So if I just pull these little guys off, um, because they're washi stickers, we won't be able to see it in that one. Let me pull another one that we might be able to see a little bit more. How you can see through them a little bit, because they're a little bit transparent, little, little. So there is the washi sticker. So see, I can kind of see the little lines on my notebook showing through there a little bit. And then I also just remembered I didn't show you the washi up close either. So now we'll look at the washi up close. So there's a small one. There's that beautiful large one. I love the black with the white. And then there's that beautiful butterfly. And then the um, postage stamp. All right, so these guys repeat, I think about every 13 inches then all of the stickers on the sheet start repeating again. So this is definitely something that um, if you have friends that you like to craft with, that you could purchase a little pack and then you guys could kind of divvy up what you have. All right. 
Um, Nancy Stone said amazing. Nancy, I don't know which one you're saying amazing on them, but I think it's these because the washi stickers I think are so cool. Very, very cool. Um, the other nice thing is because they're kind of on that opaque background, you really don't see a border. So you know sometimes with stickers, right, you end up with a white border around it. Well, with these guys, you don't see the white border at all. So look at when I put that down, it's um, nice and clear. The whole outside kind of border around it's nice and clear. All righty. So now we can take a look at um, the big bundle. So the big bundle is everything I showed you plus a few things. Um, Mary Lee said, love the black washi and you can slice it in half if you want thinner and it still looks great. I know, isn't that awesome? Because it still looks great even when you slice it either in half or in third or whatever we've done there. Okay, so big bundle. The big bundle includes all of those things. Oh my goodness. You know what I think I forgot to grab? Isn't that funny? Uh, the one thing I forgot to grab to show you that is also all of her is that. That's the six by eight paper pack. That was, yes, those are also all a part. And then we'll take a quick look at the big bundle because there's two other products in the big bundle that are not available that I don't bring them in all the cart. So six by eight collection pack. Always super, super sturdy. The 49 and market papers are uh, much thicker than any other um, like regular scrapbook manufacturer's paper in the market. Um, so you have 28 sheets, three each of nine designs, and then you have um, a cut apart sheet in here somewhere. So we'll look at the fronts. So here's our three each all grouped together. And then back's a nice neutral pattern. Um, just so beautiful and soft and uh, really you could, I mean, if you wanted to use them kind of for a wintry type project, you could with that light blue, love that one, with that little space in the center. No brainer, put a photo there, maybe a little title and you're off and running. Oh, that's beautiful. Another one there with a little photo there in the center, a little title, or you're looking good. Colors are just so yummy. Oh, look at that one with a little window. Oh, that's pretty too. Look at, you see how there's kind of that lace artwork in there? It's just so cool. Um, Katie's so talented. It's a horizontal. Oh, that's fun too. Another horizontal pattern. That's your cut apart, kind of your bonus cut apart. And that's the back of the backer sheet. Oh, and look at even the back of the backer sheet. You could even cut th those little pieces out and use those in a project. That could be fun. All right, so that's the six by eight pad. That is also available a la carte. Now we'll get into um, the other two items that are in the big bundle. So everything I showed you so far is um, available a la carte and is also available in the, the big bundle. Uh, but there are two other products that are in the big bundle. Uh, the 12 by 12 uh, paper pack and or collection pack and then the 12 by 12 colored foundation pack. So um, those I don't bring in. Um, I'm no longer bringing these guys in a la carte just because um, majority of my customers are six by eight people. You guys are buying the six by eight. So um, I have these available in the um, big bundle, but not a la carte. Um, and I think six by eights, because that's what we use so much in our Traveler's Notebooks, right? And the patterns on the Traveler, on the six by eights are scaled down, right? Remember when we saw this in the six by eight? So if you wanted to use it in a six by eight album, or in a six in a in a traveler's notebook, your pattern is scaled down. This is beautiful for a 12 by 12, just beautiful for a 12 by 12. If you want to do your 12 by 12 layouts and things like that, but seriously, such a gorgeous collection. So you have 12 papers, or excuse me, eight, sorry, eight in um, the collection pack. And then you have the cut apart sheet as well. So those aren't die cuts, you have to cut them apart, but um, that's kind of an extra little bonus. And then you have the foundation pack. So kind of your coordinating card stock to go with uh, the collection. This one you have eight um, double-sided papers as well. So we'll look at those really quick. But beautiful kind of oyster color. That blue, oh, love that blue color. The green, 
and then a little bit of a gray. So solid-ish on the back, and then a little bit more of a like watercolor effect on the front. And that is the foundation pack. So the foundation pack and the collection pack are both part of the big bundle as well. So all of it is in stock and shipping now.